Okay, hi and welcome to this video. In this video, we're going to show you how to do an email to fax within Google's Gmail. It's really easy to set up. I'm just going to take a few minutes here to walk you through the process. You might have seen a couple other videos on the internet here talking about how to do Google fax and how to do Gmail fax. And that's well and all, but you know, they don't really take the time to go through it live and show you exactly how it's done. So I saw that as something that really needed to be done. So I thought I'd go ahead and do it here for you. So let's talk about it. What is an email to fax for Google? Well, really what that is, is the process of sending and receiving a document to a fax number or from a fax number by way of your Gmail account. It's just really that simple. You need to send a fax, you need to receive a fax, you don't want to have to do it from a fax machine or be sitting in the office late at night or any time really waiting for that fax to come through. So you set it up through your Gmail account and then you can access it from anywhere in the world. So let's take a look at what it takes to send an email to fax using Gmail. So let's go Google fax step by step. The first step is you're going to need to get yourself a Gmail account or log into your Gmail account and that's pretty simple. All you got to do is pop over to gmail.com and register for an account. You see here that's pretty simple. You just click create an account, fill in your information, choose a Gmail name. Most of them are going to be taken so this may take a couple of minutes for you. Add a password, give them your birth date. I usually like to make up a birth date. I don't like to give them that information. And then they'll ask for your current email address and then a captcha and that's about it they may require you depending on where your location is and what your IP address is to validate so now that you've got your email set up let's move on to step two step two is going to be to select an online fax servicing company to handle the back-end fax operation I know there's a ton of companies out there saying that you can do it for free but the reality is really you can't you might be able to find some that'll let you send a page here and there for free or one that might let you receive one page a year for free, but I haven't found one yet. If I do, you'll be the first to get a video that shows you how to do it for free. Anyway, so let's go ahead and select a company. If you click the link below this video, it'll take you right over to email to faxgoogle.com. You'll see kind of a same similar tutorial and a link to get yourself a free 30 day trial. You can go ahead and click that and it'll take you over to Ring Central. So go ahead now and pause this video. Let's get your account set up and then come on back and we'll start the video again. All right, now that you've got your online fax company, and if you didn't do it, please just pause the video now and do it. Procrastination is the killer of progress. Now we're on to step three. I want you to go ahead and click Compose from within your Gmail. I'm breaking this down, maybe a little too basic, but sometimes I find that's what we need in order to just get stuff done. It seems like a lot of times in tutorials, people move so fast. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump over to Gmail. Okay, now that you're in Gmail, all you do is click the Compose button here. Simple enough. And then we're gonna move on to step four. Step four is you're gonna enter your fax number in the following format. Now, when you signed up for your online fax company, you entered your Gmail address. In my case, it would be Matt Gertschow at Gmail. And so they register it as a company that can send and receive faxes. And they do it by adding this rcfax.com at the end. And this is just the fax number. Any fax number will really work. So let's head over to Gmail and enter the fax number. I'm entering my fax number there. And then I put at rcfax.com. Dot com on the back end. Once you've got your fax number entered in, you're going to move on to step five. Step five, you're going to enter any text you would like on the cover sheet and attach any document that you'd like to fax. So let's shoot back over to Gmail. So in the subject line, I'm going to say, hi John, attached is the document we discussed by phone. Now I'm going to go ahead and attach a file by clicking attach a file and I'm going to go ahead and use this one right here. Okay. And with that attached, we'll go ahead and move on to the next step. Step six is going to be to click send and that's all there really is to sending an email to fax from Google Gmail. So let's go ahead and do that. Clicking send. Okay. So the email has been sent. You can see the message here. It went out to my fax number. There's the attachment. And then I'm going to pause this video wait about three minutes for that fax to be delivered directly into this email account as well and then I'm going to show you how that works okay it looks like the fax has arrived you see it here ring central new fax message from 941-209-1327 I'm going to go ahead and click on the message and one of the nice things to point out here is that the way ring central sends 
they include it as a PDF that you can view right within Gmail using their technology. So I'm just going to click on it. There's the cover sheet and the comments that I put on the subject line. Scrolling down to the next page, there is the document that I attached to the email. Now, really, that's all there is to sending a fax through Gmail. If you have any questions, please feel free to post them below. Make sure to like or subscribe if you find this content interesting.